All right, today I'm gonna to make a short video on how to assemble your top end on your 80cc uh, motorized bicycle engine. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is grab your base gasket, which is this right here. Um, make sure um, these transfer ports are lined up correctly. This is the right way this would be the wrong way so grab that and then you're gonna grab your cylinder studs next there should be four of them and you're gonna want to screw these in as much as you can finger tight each one Now what I like to do next is get these two M8 nuts and I like to lock them together. And these are 14 millimeter. And what I like to do this is that so I can screw these cylinder studs all the way in. Now when you feel this start to get tight, you don't want to force it too much. You just want to snug. Unlock them, go to the next one. Because if you tighten these too much, these actually can push through the whole case and then you're gonna have a lot of problems. So just snug. Good. Flip the motor around, do the other two. Another reason why I do this is that um, sometimes if you don't have these threaded all the way into the case, they can actually strip out and then you're in trouble. All right. Whoops. Okay, so next, we're gonna put our piston on and get your piston, your wrist pin, your needle bearing, and your two G-clips. These right here. So what you're gonna do first is get your needle bearing, um, get your assembly lube, and if you don't have assembly lube, it's okay. You can use two-stroke oil. 
um, you want to make sure this bearing is lubed up pretty good. I like to do the outside and the inside of it. Um, you don't have to worry about getting too much on there. Too much is okay. And then next you're going to take your wrist pin, lube that up real good. Take your piston. Now, when you put your piston on, these pins, you can see them now, always go towards the intake. Always. Don't listen to what this arrow says or anything. Always look at these pins. They always face the back of the engine. All right, so take your wrist pin, put it in there, just enough, and then put it over your crankshaft, push your wrist pin in all the way, and now you're ready to put your G clips on, which are these. Um, these can be kind of a pain. The easiest way to do it is to have a needle nose like this. Put it on your needle nose like this. And then push it in. Turn it and you'll hear it snap into place. There's a little groove inside of this piston that the uh, C-clip clips into you're gonna want to turn your motor to the other side and do the same thing push your wrist pin all the way in so it's touching the c-clip on the other side and you're gonna want to grab your other c-clip and do the same thing put this piece in first and then push and turn. See, I messed up, but I wasn't holding it hard enough. Do it again. Now you heard it snap in. Now just give these each a little pull and spin them to make sure they're all the way in your, their groove. I don't know if you guys can see that. And then flip it over and make sure the other side is all the way in too. And I just like to spin it a little bit and pull, and it is because the worst thing you want to happen is for this to pop out while your engine is running. All right, so we're ready to put the cylinder on. Now, you wanna make sure that your piston rings are lined up with these two pins right here. And then you're gonna grab your piston. You're gonna take your assembly lube or two stroke oil, whatever, and put it in here real good. The reason why you do this is when you first start the engine, you want it to be well lubricated. I don't know if you guys can see that. So that's good. So this part can be kind of tricky. Um, I've done it hundreds of times, so it's, for me it's easy. But what you're going to want to do is make sure your rings are lined up with your pins. I don't know if you guys can see that. These two pins right here, one here and then one on the other side. So when you squeeze them, the rings go all the way in. So make sure the other side is lined up. And then what I like to do is do one at a time. Um, so look on this side, you'll see that when I squeeze the rings, just like that, and then push your cylinder down a little bit. Now, see how it's gapped out? I just push this in a little bit 
kind of wiggle the the cylinder around a little bit and it fit it slid right over it now you want to do the same thing for the bottom one what i usually do is squeeze it from here and on this side with my fingers and then you'll see there's a little gap right here i push that gap in and just kind of wiggle the piston up kind of push it down and you can see it's in but I think the uh, these cylinder holes need to be drilled out a little bit because this isn't pushing down and it's very common on uh, a lot of motors oh never mind snapped into place all right but yeah sometimes once in a while these holes that the cylinder studs um go into they'll have a little bit of debris in there and you'll have to actually drill them out for these to actually go all the way through it so <laughs> yeah that's on now so what you're going to want to do is take your head gasket which is this um, put that on slide it all the way down sometimes it can be a little bit tricky too um, so that's on and then grab your head which mine's over here um, depending on what bike you're using um, some bikes you'll have to have the spark plug facing this way for clearance issues and then um, other bikes you'll be able to get away with um, using it this way um, I recommend having a spark plug towards the back so the engine runs a little bit cooler but if you have to you can have a spark plug in the front um, for clearance issues so yeah put your head on like that then there's four washers put those on Put your bolts on, just finger tight. Um, on this particular engine, these are 12 millimeter bolts. Um, most of them are 12 or 13 or 14 millimeter um, from what I've seen. So get your 12 millimeter socket. And then when you tighten these, you don't want to tighten them down too tight. I think like max is uh, 12 to 15 pounds. And you want to crisscross. good so the next thing you want to do is put your plug in um, I already pre gapped this so that's good to go um, put that in get your spark plug socket or three-quarter inch socket and then just tighten that down you want this pretty tight because if they're not really tight they will leak So yeah, that's how you assemble your top end and most engines will be exactly the same. Um, that's how I've been doing it and I haven't had any problems. So yeah, thanks for watching.